In this video I'm going to show you how to solve compound inequalities. Uh, there are two compound inequalities. Well, first of all, what is compound inequality? Compound inequality is two regular inequalities or individual inequalities connected uh, with a logical connector um, or, or and. So we can take two inequalities and require x to satisfy either both of them so we're looking for the, those x that make this inequality true and the other inequality true or we can say we're looking for those values of x that make this inequality true or this inequality true so by connecting two inequalities with one of the two connecting words we create what's called compound inequality How do we solve compound inequality? The, the approach is very simple. Uh, you solve each inequality individually, so you solve it. You solve the one on the left, and you solve the one on the right. Uh, as a result, what do you do? You produce some sort of solution set, which most likely is in the form of an interval. Could be finite, could be infinite, it doesn't matter. You solve each one of them, individually. So each one of them has its own solution set. Then to solve compound inequality means we have to uh, combine their solutions in a specific way. Uh, what exactly do we do with their solutions depends on the connecting word. If the word was or, then we find the union of the two sets. If the word was and, then we find the intersection of the two sets. That's it. And we just graph those two on the same picture, find whatever we were looking for, union and intersection, and we find the answer from that image. So let's do an example. Uh, here we have a compound inequality with the word end. That means I have to solve the one on the left, solve the one on the right, and find the intersection of their solution sets. Uh, let's do, let's first solve this absolute value inequality. Uh, I'm going to use the test points method. So I'm going to first solve the equation. And the equation has two solutions. They are, they are three or negative 5 and I'm going to plot those on the number line and I'm going to test. So I'm going to pick this test points and to test it I'm going to plug in negative 6 into inequality. So negative 6 plus 1 is it less than 4? Negative uh, 0 plus 1 is that less than negative 4? In, and 4 plus 1 absolute value is that less than 4. Uh, you can see that the only one that tests true is in the middle, the other two are false, so that means the solution set of this inequality is all the values between negative 5 and 3. Do I include the boundary points? No I don't because the inequality was strict. So here I produced the solution set of the first inequality. So let's go ahead and produce the solution set of the second inequality. So here I'm gonna again use the test points method, so I'm gonna set up an equation first. Uh, I'm gonna solve this equation and here's the solution set of the equation. I plot these points on the number line and I pick the test points. I'm going to pick 0, 3, and negative 4. And I'm going to test my um, polynomial inequality by just keeping track of the sign of each factor. So at negative 4, I have negative times negative 
uh, at 0 I have negative times positive and at 3 I have positive times positive so as you can see we have inequality satisfied here and here and in the middle it's not satisfied so what is the solution set of this inequality it's from 2 to infinity and from negative infinity to negative 3. Do I include the boundary points this time? Yes, I do, because inequality is strict. So here we have a solution set. Here we have a solution set like this. And now I'm going to solve the compound inequality by interpreting and as intersection of the two sets. So now I'm going to draw my picture. So I have negative 5, 3, negative 3, 2. So from negative 5 to 3, I have one solution set. And the other one goes from negative 3 to infinity. And that one goes from 2 to infinity. So the question is, where do these two sets intersect? And we know that two sets intersect where at the points that are covered by both of them. So you see that they intersect from negative 5 to negative 3 and from 2 to positive 3. So these two intervals is the answer to the compound inequality above. So the key to the solution is, of course, you need to know how to solve each inequality individually, and then you need to perform the corresponding set operation on their solution sets, union for or and intersection for and. So let's do another example real quick. So here we have an or inequality. So we're going to solve each inequality individually and then find the union of their solution sets. So I'm just going to practice the test point method. So I'm going to set every inequality as an equation first. Just to show you that any inequality can be solved using this method. We have true over here, false over here. So the solution to the first inequality is everything from negative 3 to infinity, including negative 3 because inequality is non-strict. And to solve this rational inequality, we're going to set up two equations one for the numerator and one for the denominator and we're going to take these two points and put them on the number line so the test points will be 0, 2, negative 5 and just like with polynomials I don't need to keep track of the, the actual value I just need the signs of the expression each factor, or in this case, the numerator and denominator, to uh, figure out whether the inequality is true or false. So at negative 5, everything is negative. So we have negative divided by negative. Saying that it's positive would be false. Uh, at 0, we have positive divided by negative. That's true. And then at 2, we have positive divided by positive. That's true. So the previous two, I made a mistake. So positive divided by negative is actually false. And negative divided by negative is positive. That's true. So the solution uh, to this inequality is from 1 to infinity. And from negative infinity to 
negative 4. Do I include negative 4? No, I don't. Do I include 1? No, I don't, because it's a strict inequality. So this is the answer. This is the solution set to this inequality. And now, to find the solution of this component inequality, I have to take the union of these two sets. So that means I have to plot 1. So from negative 3 to infinity, and then plot the other one. The other one will go from negative infinity to negative 4, and then from 1 to infinity. How do we find the union of two sets? Uh, you may think of it as two umbrellas, and the question is, what is the surface that they both cover? Uh, so it's pretty clear here that the union of these two intervals is from negative infinity to negative 4, and then from negative 3 to infinity. So this is how we solve this compound inequality. Again, to remind you that to solve compound inequality means you have to solve each inequality individually and then perform the union operation for OR and intersection for AND inequalities on the two solution sets that you produced.